Remember the feeling which we get when we do not find our phone in our pocket? Yeah, multiply that 10 times and that's the exact feeling you're gonna get when you lose our Android device. Now guys, things which we use on a daily basis can get lost, can get misplaced, you know, can be kept somewhere. I mean, I'm not blaming you, it happened with me four times in a row. I'm making this video, uh, this is a must watch video for every Android user. In this video, I'll be showing you things which you should do to protect your Android device and things which you should do when you lose your Android device. So in this video, I'll be showing you things which are built right into your Android device, the security systems built in your android device itself to get back your phone if it is lost misplaced or you cannot find it now these are certain things which you have never ever heard about before because these are not advertised by android this is a must watch video for every android user because you never know when you can lose your android device now as i already mentioned you do not require any special permissions you do not need any app you do not need to have anything pre-installed on your phone however internet should be on on your device uh, it can be connected to wi-fi or mobile data does not matter but it should be connected and the gpa should be on it's optional but if it is on you could even pinpoint the exact location of your android device so yeah, let's get started. So open up your computer browser and head over to Google. Now guys, this is very important. Make sure that Google over here on your computer and your Android device, both of them are logged in together via the same Google account. Now your Android device might be having multiple Google accounts on it, does not matter, but one of those Google accounts should be logged in on your computer browser. Once you ensure that, head over to the search bar and type in, where is my Android? By this moment, Google will try locating your device. If the GPS is on, it will pinpoint the exact location of your device right down to the street and the house. At this moment, Google is trying to locate my device. And as you can see, here is the location of my device. If the GPS is off, you can still access other settings and options over here, which I'll be showing you later. Click on this screen over here and it will open up in full screen. So it will give you an area view of your device, the exact location of where your device is located. You can double click on that to zoom in further to see which street or which house your device is present. But if your area is well mapped, you will even find the exact address of where your Android device is present at the right hand side corner below the name of your Android device. So once we have located our Android device, let's check out what options do we have. Now at the right hand side, we have three options under the name and the address of your Android device. One is ring, other is lock and the third one is erase. So let's go ahead and check out the first option over here, which is ring. By hitting this over here, your device will remotely ring for an entire five minutes at the loudest volume. This is very helpful if you have dropped your Android device somewhere in your house or at your friend's home and you cannot connect your Android device. You can use this option or to ring your Android phone or tablet. So with that, we come to the second and the most important feature in this entire system, which is lock. Now say for instance, you have a password protected Android device since 70 to 80 percent of the people out there they have password protected pin protected android device and say you have lost it or you have dropped it somewhere what you do you try calling the device and say the device is ringing and nobody's picking it up and if somebody does happens to come across our device if our device is found they cannot get in direct contact with us because since our device is password protected there is no owner information present on top of the device neither they have access to the contacts to get in contact with us or you know any of our friends a lot of people face this problem but with this lock option over here you get to initiate a lockdown on your device you can change your password if you do not have a password you can put a new password and you get to enter a custom message which will be flashed on your android device when somebody try to unlock your device and you get to enter a secondary phone number of one of your friends your landline number or a number to your secondary device so if in case somebody does come across your device and they unlock it they will see this message which will say you know phone lost uh, call me or you know phone lost uh, contact the authorities something like that and then they will have this call button and when they tap on the call button a direct call will be initiated to the secondary number which you provided so it's a very useful feature every android user should be knowing about and with that we come to the third and the final option in the list which is erase you pretty much know what I mean. By initiating the erase command, everything on an Android device will be removed. All your data, your picture, all your information will be gone. This is very helpful for people who think the device is stolen and beyond recovery. This is especially very helpful for people who have sensitive information, who have personal or work related stuff on an Android device and they're scared about their data being stolen and misused. In that case, when our device is lost or stolen, we are more worried about the data on the Android device than the device itself because you can buy a new device. Your insurance might cover your Android device if it is lost or stolen, but the data, if it is misused, it can do a lot more harm on you than your lost Android device. So this is the option which you should use. If you think your device is gone, if you cannot track your device, it's beyond recovery. Erase command is what you should use. 
Now there are certain things which you can try straight on your Android device to prevent it or to get it back if it is lost or stolen. Number one, you should definitely provide the owner information. You can go to settings and under the security settings, you will find the owner information tab over here. This is available on some Android versions, so I'm not sure if it will be available for you or not. But over here, you can activate that and you can enter in your information. Say you can enter in a phone found, contact this number with your name. So when you lock your Android device, that will be flagged on top of your lock screen so if somebody does happens to come across your Android device they can read your number or they can read your name and they can get your phone back to you this is also a very useful thing the second thing that you should definitely try out if you're worried about your data being stolen or if you have sensitive data on your Android device is encrypt your phone now encryption means uh, password protecting your entire data so if somebody does have access to your phone and they do try to get your data they'll have to enter a password without that the data will be useless this option can also be found under the security tab the third and the final thing which you should definitely try out is sim card lock now no matter how careful you are, no matter how many passwords which you have on your phone, no matter you seal your phone in a titanium box, but if your phone gets stolen, your SIM card can be misused. I have heard a lot of cases in which phones were stolen just to use their SIM cards. There are hijackers, there are kidnappers who are looking out for devices on which they can use the SIM card. So do lock your SIM card. Every time you turn on your device, you will have to enter a password lock to unlock your SIM card. SIM card locking is available in every device. Every phone which can have a SIM in that has a SIM card lock so definitely have a sim card lock if you're worried about your sim card being stolen and misused so yeah friends that's about it that's the entire video if you like this video and if this video helped you in any means please give it a thumbs up that really helped me a lot and do subscribe for more interesting android videos like this hit on the red subscribe button guys and help grow this channel and yeah i also have created a facebook page to you know get in touch with you so if you have any questions related to android you think i can answer post it down on my facebook page link to that will be in the description until then i'm your host hk from the android guy signing out you guys have a nice day peace yeah.